All right. What's up, everybody? So as you may know or may not know, uh, I've been doing a lot of vocal coaching lately. I've really have uh, found an appreciation for the voice and the technique of voice. So I'm going to give you a little quick vocal tip of the day um, for those of you who want to try it, mess around with it. Um, we're going to work on whistle tones. So uh, the trick with whistle tones is it's basically you have to release the smallest, minute, finest amount of air through your vocal cords in order um, for the smallest opening to happen uh, in your in your chords while they're oscillating, which is basically your chords look kind of like this if you look from the top down, and when they oscillate, they go like that. So le releasing the Im finest amount of air opens just a little, little tiny part of the back of the vocal cords that allow that air to come through and still be able to sing on pitch. So, for example, like a balloon, right? If you pinch the balloon, you let a little amount of air out, and it squeaks. So that's kind of how we do it. But... What we do is we're gonna use what we call the vocal fry technique. So, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you're really kind of like, ah, I just woke up. That's kind of where we want to what we want to work into. Um, a lot of teachers train against the vocal fry, mostly because people just don't know how to use it correctly, and a lot of people abuse it and will sit on top of the vocal fry like, ah, ah, instead of really supporting it with air, ah, kind of like that quality. So let's try this scale. Um, we're just going to go uh, 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 on the vocal fry on an ah, uh, or like a little, little staccato short, basically one, three, five octave scale on quick staccato, um, little bounces. So, So now we're we're kind of in that register. So it's the smallest amount of of um, effort that you need to put into the the notes in order to get the vocal fry. Uh, 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 and then basically, once you find that area, instead of continuing with the scale, just go up chromatically and keep the relaxation in that airflow really small, and see how high you can take it, and then come back down because that'll really help build that strength and just that muscle memory of the vocal fry itself. So let's try it real quick. So we're going to go. <clears throat> uh, 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 So kind of lost it, right? Whew, it takes a lot because you have to like really hold back the air. Um, let's keep going down and see if we can cry back into it. So what I mean by cry is taking the vocal fry from a lower position and sliding into the note. So. Uh... So now we're not in vocal, we're not in um, we're not in whistle register anymore. So we come back down. My my whistle register comes back down and uh, it's a A five. So a G above a G five for female. Um, so A five. Oh, actually no, it's an A six. Sorry, my bad. It's G five then A six. So A six. Yeah. So uh, I hope this helps. Um, I'm not really like big time on posting things like this, but you know why not share some knowledge. Um, I appreciate everything that I've been taught from my vocal coaches. So wanted to share some little knowledge with you all. Hope you enjoyed.